And picking up on the last point of a widely expected rate cut by the Bank of Korea tomorrow, uh, if that happens, it will be the first such move in 15 months, as suggesting the central bank's policies are in line with the finance ministry's efforts to stimulate the Korean economy. Our Sun Jung In has more. Among economists is a widely held belief that the Bank of Korea will cut its benchmark interest rate at Thursday's Monetary Policy Committee. Now the focus is on by how much. Reflecting the expectations, the yield on three-year government debt has slid over the last couple of months, inching closer to the key interest rate. According to polls, eight out of ten financial experts estimate that a cut of 0.25 percentage points would push the benchmark Kospi index up by 60 to 70 points. If the government and the central bank fail to cooperate on lowering the interest rate, the effects of new policy measures to boost the economy may be in vain in the short term. Pandits speculate that central bank governor Lee Ji-yeol gave the signal to cut the rate at the policy meeting last month. However, there are concerns that a rate cut may not be as effective as many anticipate and that it won't help to address swelling household debt, which has now surpassed 1 trillion U.S. dollars. A lower interest rate causes an increase in household debt, so a rate cut may help the economy in the short term. But there are potential risk factors that could lead to more household debt in the future. That puts the Bank of Korea in a tough spot. Another rate freeze will almost certainly trigger criticism over not working in step with market policy, while an interest rate cut without offering clear reasoning may mean lost trust from the public over the abrupt decision. Son Jung-in, Arirang News.